here. That'll do. Good morning. Um, today is Wednesday the... Uh, I actually don't know. Maybe the 14th of July. And to, uh, Jace will be four weeks old on Thursday in two days time. And just today is my first official day of the solo parenting with uh, Lindsay back at work although he's still working from home so he's at the end of the hall <laughs> whatever um, we are on a walk and I just thought I would stop just giving Jace his dummy um, a quick recap of how it's going on okay so it's been going pretty well so far I was a bit nervous about today about doing it by myself but I'm dressed we're out the door we're on a walk and I put a load of washing on the line this morning and I'm making a point to count all the small victories um, so it was a little bit of a challenge getting out of the house this morning um, finding people's shoes and hats and blankets and then Jed pooed and then Jace pooed and then but we got out I am trying to do a little route not routine because obviously Jace is still little so his sleep is is just whatever at the moment but I thought if I could go out with both of them in the morning for a walk I really want to try and do a fast walk every day just for my own sake and getting back you know getting things back to sort of better than they are at the moment physically and then take like Jed to the park or just to play around the river here or something and that will be good for him to get out and then Jace can have a sleep in the pram hopefully and that sort of ticks a few boxes so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment um, in terms of how the first last few weeks have gone so Lindsay's been on leave so that makes it heaps easier um, the transition from going to Jace, uh, so from going to, from one baby to two in, compared to zero to one has been heaps easier for us. But I, I want to make a video on postpartum experience, so I'll go into that. Um, I'm just going to take my glasses off. I'll go into that a bit more then. Jace is just giving Jace his hat. Um, and I also want to do a little video on postpartum essentials. Um, so yeah, it's been going pretty good, but I'll, I'll, I will go into that more then. I really just wanted to say hello and touch base and sort of, yeah, say we're, we're into the swing of things now. I'm sort of, I'm nervous about the first few months of not having a baby that sleeps to a routine, but I think with your second it's a bit different because you know that that stage doesn't last forever and it will be a few months before we can sort of do some sleep um not training as such but you know it'll be a few months before we can have anything that looks like a routine so um yeah i think that's all i wanted to say really um recovery is going pretty well physically um heaps easier than first time I'm still a bit sore but it's all it's all good um yeah Jed's been really helpful um some trying times but overall pretty good I feel like this video is just super rambly but I really just wanted to touch base and sort of mark this milestone of getting out of the house and being on leave anyway someone's just pulled up in a car so I'm going to leave there thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye <laughs> Okay, we're going to keep on with our walk now, we'll walk to the playground. We're going to go to the playground and play in the swings. Yeah? Chase, does that sound like a good idea to you? Maybe you'll fall asleep. Alright, we're going to leave it there now. Well, we finished our walk and we're just right around the corner. I'm home now, I'm gonna get some lunch ready. Lindsay's still working from home. 
which just makes this transition so much easier just to know that if I do need help he's right there but even just knowing that he's there is, is a help to keep me level-headed and sane I think <laughs> um, but I've sort of made a little a little sort of schedule for, for our mornings so we can know like who's having a shower when and who's getting who breakfast and Lindsay can look after Jed getting dressed and <laughs> teeth cleaned and breakfast and stuff just to help us so that in the mornings we're not always confused about who's doing what every day yeah so by having him around for uh, an hour to help me pop Jed down for his nap which can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes at the moment he still sleeps for a couple hours or more if we let him but always protests when it's time so it can be a bit of a struggle but I'm very grateful that he will still have a nap in his cot um, because it just makes my life a bit easier Anyway, we're getting home now, so I will say bye-bye.